Uh, today we're doing a demonstration for, for DC Water. Uh, we're demonstrating our leak detection and condition assessment services. The, the city is, uh, is very, very old. Uh, we have some water mains that were put in service in uh, 1858 that are, that are still in service. The average pipe life right now is uh, 77 years and uh, we are in the process of uh, uh, increasing our uh, uh, capital improvement uh, program uh, where we're, we're trying to replace uh, approximately about 1% of our, our pipe each year. Acoustic-based condition assessment and, and leak detection is very important in, for today's municipalities because it's non-destructive, it's non-intrusive, and uh, it's a much easier way to, to assess the condition of a pipe without actually digging down to the pipe and taking out a sample, which costs lots of money and is very intrusive, shuts down roads. We feel this is very important in today's, uh, today's municipalities because money is tight and people don't want to spend money in the wrong place. Uh, so using, using acoustic condition assessment technology can help municipalities prioritize where they want to spend their money. For this demonstration we're going to be testing uh, this main which was installed in I think 1974 or 1874 actually, it's much older than that, um, cast iron main and, and we're going to be demonstrating two things is uh, the ability to find leaks um, on ca cast iron mains like that and also uh, the ability to to assess the condition of the pipe using our technology. So we're using our, our standard Leak Finder RT system here with, uh, with sort of a specialized software package to do condition assessment. And right here we're standing beside the, uh, the blue transmitter station. And so if you guys have used correlators before, it's very similar type system to that, where you set up two stations. We've got a blue station set up here, um, the white station set up down on the other side of the street there. And this is just a, uh, a magnetic sensor which is lowered down onto the the top of the valve and so this will attach to any sort of ferrous piece of pipe material um, sometimes the tops of the valves have little brass nuts on them it doesn't grab onto that so we're going on the side of the valve here but as long as you get a good solid magnetic connection that's uh, enough for the system to work and I can feel that it's got a nice magnetic attachment there it's got a lot of pull from uh, from the magnet there and I just hit the green button on the transmitter and then this is good to go. So these two transmitters, the, the blue and the white transmitter, they, uh, they transmit this vibration signal back to a central receiver um, and that's what we have set up in the back of the car over there uh, and, and the central receiver feeds everything into a computer where we got a software program that does all the analysis for us. Okay, so the purpose of this first test that we're gonna do is to simulate the ability of the Leak Finder RT to, to actually locate a leak. Um, and then the next test we're going to do condition assessment. And so what we have is over here is we have a fire hydrant flowing which is in between our two sensors. Um, our sensor spacing is approximately 510 feet which we measured with a measuring wheel. Um, and we have the hydrant flowing, I would probably guess at between 5 and 10 gallons per minute at the moment. And we can see here on the software that a, a, a clean spike is showing up approximately 22 feet from the blue station. And so this spike represents the position of a leak on the main. So if you were to go out there and just run a background test and see a spike like this without a hydrant flowing, then you know you've got a leak, something that you have to go and repair. Okay, so what we have here is, a, um, is just a diffuser we're putting on the fire hydrant. We're using this to introduce noise into the pipe for the purpose of doing a velocity test. Um, so our sensors are over there on Marion Street right now. And the sound that we're introducing here is going to travel down this pipe and then to Marion Street and then down Marion Street. And we're going to measure how fast that sound's traveling down the pipe. We just recorded the velocity of sound in this section of pipe um, and went through and did the, the, the calculations on the final number. Um, and we measure a velocity between about 3850 and 3950 feet per second. And now so we're going to go back to the office and refine that file to make sure we end up with the final number. Um, but on rough calculation, that puts between about 0.3 and 0.4 inches remaining wall thickness on this pipe. So this value, like I mentioned before, does not include the thickness of tuberculation. So you do have buildup of tuberculation on the inside. This number actually represents the structural st stiffness, the structural thickness of the cast iron remaining. It doesn't include the soft uh, material on the inside. Okay, Kurt, so we're just wrapping up testing here, uh, uh, here on this main. This is um, a 1943 installation? 47. 1947 installation, cast iron main. Um, the condition assessment results show that it's approximately 0.5 inches remaining wall thickness. 
Um, and in comparison to the previous main we, we tested, which was installed in 1874, um, that one had a wall thickness of point, point 0.35 inches. Um, so this one obviously in a little bit better condition. So, so as we were talking about before, maybe the soils here aren't quite as aggressive as over there, um, or maybe it's just because the, the age of the pipe, uh, this, is a, this is 50 years younger, this pipe over here, so it had less time to degrade. Our equipment, our condition assessment offering is 100% non-intrusive and non-destructive. So we can offer leak detection testing and condition assessment results all at the same time without actually shutting off any water or putting anything inside the pipe. It gives us a, a, an extra tool to, to, to prioritize uh, the water mains. Uh, we have a, a grading system that uh, we're using to, uh, to try to determine which pipes to, uh, to replace. And then uh, once we come up with uh, what we want, we could uh, you know, use this information to see, you know, is, is the, uh, the pipe uh, still in, in good shape? If it is, then maybe we should go to, uh, to, to another pipe that, uh, that uh, is, is in, in more critical condition.